Hi friends, today we will discuss about CNA 8700 10 slot model self view. So in picture, you can see here, this is the self view of CNA 8700 10 slot model. And this is the front view and this is the rear view. So here, the CNA 8700 10 slot front view, you can see here, this is the front view of CNA 8700 10 slot model. So this is slot 1 to 5, slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And slot 6 to 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This 10 slot is used for the traffic card. That's why it's known as Rihanna 8700 10 slot model. So these are the two CTX card. And in between the CTX card, there is a switch module. You can see here, this is the SM or SMHT. So you can insert either SM card or SMHT card. This is the switch module. So there is one switch module, SM or SMHT, with one is to end fabric redundancy. You can see here, uh, there is a two CTX card. You can either insert CTX or CTX HD card. And this is the control timing in switching module. And these two card in are in one plus one redundancy. You can see here, there is a two control timing in switch module, CTX or CTX HD with one plus one redundancy. So the difference between SM or SMHD and CTX and CTX HD is only and uh, for the capacity. You can see here, this is the slot 6, 5 and 6, this is slot 6, this is a slot 5. And here, in current picture, there is a PSLM 680-8. This is photonic service line module with capacity 680, with the capacity of faceplate is 680G, and there is a 8 port in this faceplate. You can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 port. And the detail about this service line module we have already discussed in our different video. You can see the service line module video in which there is a detailed description about every card. So currently in this diagram in slot 5 and slot 6 there is a PSLM 680-8 card. In slot 4 and in slot 7 there is a PSLM 400-31. So this is again, this is the card name, this is the card capacity, the face plate, uh, the capacity of this face plate is 400G and there is a 31 port in this face plate. You can see here, there is a slot 1 and 3 and 8. In these three slots, here is PSLM 200-2 card. So the capacity of this card is 200G and there is a 2 port in this face plate. You can see here, this is a PSLM 200-20 in slot 2 and uh, slot 9. So again, the face split capacity is 200G and there is a 20 port inside this. And there is a CSLM 200-2 card. And this is a coherent service line module, which has face split capacity of 200G and there is a 2 port inside that. So you can either put any service line module in any of these service slots. 1 to 5 or 6 to 10. It's not compulsory that this slot is fixed for this card, PSLM 200-2. You can insert any service line module in slot 1 to 5 or 6 to 10. This is SLM for service line module, CSLM for coherent packet service line module, and PSLM is 10 for the packet service line module, or you can see the photonic service line module. 8710 slot rear view. You can see it. this is the rear view of the 8710 slot model. So these are the PDU or PSU. You can see uh, the power distribution unit or power supply unit. Four power unit with one plus one redundancy. You can either insert the DC power supply or AC power supply. But you can't put both power supply together. You need to choose either DC power supply or AC power supply. This is the input output module IOM. So this is the bigger picture of this this module you can see here this there is a one to two port for one pps two port for 10 megahertz there is alarm out alarm in there is a es1 es2 dc and one dc and two and sync one and sync two ports so these are the external interfaces which is present on this io module so these are the four rg45 connectors for ethernet connection to the ethernet switches on each ctx Two RJ45 connectors for RS422 time of delay and one pulse per second serial connection. These two 
this is about these two ports sync 1 and sync 2 this is the alarm in which is db26 connector for 16 external opto isolated alarm inputs this is the alarm output db15 connector for four external alarm outputs so these two ports is 50 ohm smb coaxial connection for 10 megahertz gps clock signals and these two ports is fixed for smb coaxial connection for tod means uh, time of day and one pps means pause per second signals so this is all about the 8700 slot rear view this is a fan module so this is the cna 8700 10 slot model self you can see here again the front view and rear view together so these are the slot fix for ctx card and the in between the ctx module there is a switch module and these modules is fixed for the rear view you can see here the fan module input output module and four power supply unit 8700 switches is fully modular and redesigned with two self option 8700 10 slot chassis and 8700 4 slot chassis we, uh, we have already discussed the 8700 4 slot chassis so currently we are in 8700 10 slot chassis the below mentioned all module used in both 4 slots and 10 slot system for efficiency in spheres input output module switch modules and control timing and switch model so these module these all three module is all present in both the uh, self option two self option 8700 10 slot chassis and four slot chassis so you can see here all these module present in both both type of slots packet service line module pslm coherent packet service line module cslm power distribution unit power supply unit all system modules are plug in assemblies that provide various system function interfaces so these are the common these are the common module you can see these are, these are the common circuit pack or the module which are used in four slot chassis and 10 slot chassis the difference between these 10 slot and four slot is in 8700 10 slot chassis there is a 10 port for traffic and in 8700 four slot, four slot chassis there is a four slot for traffic So CNA 8700 10 slot system features. 10 slots for line module with up to 500 Gbps per slot with two CTS HD or with one CTS HD and SMHD. So 10 slots for line modules is used, which we have already discussed. There is a 10 slot or the 10 interfaces which is used for the line modules and the capacity is up to 500 gbps when we are using two cts hd card or one cts hd card and one smhd card so this is speed can be achieved by using this combination two cts hd or one cts hd and smhd 10 slot for line module with up to 200 gbps using two ctx or with one cts and sm so which we have which i have already discussed there there is a difference between cts hd and cts is only about the capacity so when we are using only ctx two ctx or one ctx and one sm card we can achieve up to 200 gbps line module speed there's a two control timing and switching module cts or cts hd with one plus one redundancy one switch module sm or smhd with one is to n fabric redundancy 6.27 terabyte of equipped fabric for 40 fully protect, protected switching capacity using two cts hd and one smhd so again if we are using only cts two cts and one sm this capacity is decreased from 6.270 to 3t one input output module for alarm and timing one cooling fan module 10 impellers on five axes four power unit with one plus one redundancy dc power distribution unit or ac power supply unit you can either use uh, dc power supply or ac power supply So next is CN8700 10 slot model service line module. You can see here this is service line module. Different types of service line module is available. PSLM 680-8, PSLM 400-31, PSLM 200-20, PSLM 200-2, CSLM 200-2, PSLM 200-11 so what all what all about this we have already discussed about this nomenclature 
in our SLM uh, video. So again, you can see here this PSLM is the card name. This is the photonic or packet service line module. 680 is the capacity of face plate, and this indicates the number of port. So in this card, in this PSLM, the capacity of the face plate is 400, and there is 31 port. And what is this 31 port? In this 31 port, there is 30 port of SFP and SFP plus, and one port is QSFP 20 odd. So you can check all the service line module in the same. Like if you selected this, this CSLM 200-2, it means this is the coherent service line module. It has two port. It has two port and two port for 100G OT4 wrapped, 100GB over wave logic 3 nano DWDM ports. If you are selecting the PSLM 688, there is a PSLM card which is having the capacity of 680 Gbps and having eight ports. Six port is of QSFP 28 and two port of QSFP plus ports. So there is a control timing and switching module CTS or CTS HD. You can see here this is a one RG45 management DC port, one console port. The CTS capacity is one terabyte per second. CTS HD is 2.27. 27 terabyte per second. There is a switch module. There is no external interfaces, and the switching module has the capacity of switching 800 Gbps traffic, and SMHD has 2.27 terabytes per second. Input output module. So there are 16 external alarm input and four cross external alarm output. There are two ports for RJ45 sync input and output port. There are four SMB sync input and output ports. So CNA 8710 slot model physical description. You can see here the width in the millimeter of 10 slot module is 483. The depth is 600 millimeter. The height is 445 millimeter. The chassis per rack is 4. The weight is 66 kg. DC input, the range of the DC input is minus 40 volt to minus 60 volt. And the range of AC input volt is 180 volt to 265 volt. And the operating temperature which it can bear is from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree, 40 degree centigrade. And the airflow, the direction of the airflow is from low front, you can see the lower front to the upper rear. So it's all about the CN8700 10 slot module. Thank you.